what's going on guys this is mast and welcome back some more smite conquest today we're playing a little jing chan in the jungle uh jing chan probably doesn't seem like much of a jungler right and you'd be kind of right because he's also sort of not but <laughs> but he's actually surprisingly decent once you get to the mid late game his early game pretty trash uh doesn't do a whole lot damage pretty low it is a yorm solo you gotta be kidding me dude this Zawelix tried to like five head uh five head pick right now since i went jing jungle she wanted to go a Wheelix solo i'm assuming that's why she went a Wheelix solo so she, we could have like ult synergy right uh so i can knock up with my two and she can uh or with my ult i guess and then she can ult yeah, it goes against the Yorm, right? The one god that just doesn't get knocked up. So a little unlucky, man. Her ult might as well not really exist. I guess she still gets the stats, but that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's that's pretty rough, dude. That's pretty rough. She went med? Okay. I mean, thanks for the heals, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. We have we have weird teams, obviously, right? Like I'm Jing Jungle, they have well, this man's fighting? Why? Dude, it was a free camp. Just do the free we're, you're just dying now. I don't think he actually dies because he should get hammer soon. Oh, is he missed by so much? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was from Thor, man. He should have actually been able to do the mid camps or at least like secure them pretty well compared to me. And instead, he's just like, let's just poke the Jing Chan with his billion sustain from his passive. That's a good idea. That's a good idea, right, guys? No, no, it's not. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Oh, yeah. One thing to note, uh, it's probably you guys will probably barely notice because it's not too big of a deal. I have noticed it a ton because I've played Jing four or five times so far today. For whatever reason, I lag on Jing Chan specifically. I don't know what it is. I know we got reworked recently. I don't know if that's why. Ooh. I don't think we actually do anything. We're going to try and do some something. She has her three. Are you kidding me, man? Why is she in it? She's going full bot. What are you doing? She actually just killed herself. Like what? Why would you? What was that, man? She was so insanely out, right? I used every CC we have, the whole one of them. Uh, and then she's just like, all right, let's go run back into them. They're never going to figure it out. It's not like I'm obviously in the cloud because I haven't appeared anywhere else, right? Yeah, no, you're obviously in that, man. What are you doing? Uh, what, were we, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, Jing lagging. I don't know why. You're probably barely going to notice. It's not a big deal, man. It's really occasional. Like, it just did it. It's, it's a really small stutter. But something about Jing, I don't know why. It's just like he he specifically lags for me. No one else consistently lags at all right now. Uh, recently, I had trouble with like a Windows update where that was happening, but not like gods. Uh, it was just like my computer in general. Yeah, I, I don't know. Kind of weird, kind of annoying. I also had in one of my recent games a bug that used to exist, uh, still exists, which is not good because they completely tried to rework him in, in an attempt to fix the bugs. Um, yeah, no, uh, my jump didn't work properly. I tried to jump, just straight up didn't go for one of them, which is really annoying. Similar things happens on, uh, on Nemesis. Not sure if they're actually related or not. Watch us do absolutely no damage to this man. Check this out. Check this out. Look at that. Oh, oh, 94. Yeah, yeah, a whole lot of nothing. I'm pretty sure Thor already dropped it. Thor already dropped it. Yeah. I don't think that was worth it at all. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to run at somebody. Oren doing damage right now, man. Doing a whole lot of damage. What's up, Geb? Yeah, run for your life. I'm terrifying. I totally don't do absolute potato damage. Out of mana. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. Just run here anyways. He's, he's not running here anyways. Come on, man. Oh, I almost got it from him, man. I tried so hard. Yeah, if I could not die, that'd be lovely. Uh, This is what we call the whoop de wop He's now dead. Nice. I honestly, I don't know how we won that. I guess Horus broken. I mean, they had one too, but but our Horus more broken. Yeah, our damage early game is so insanely bad, dude. It's so ridiculously bad. It actually feels like Jing Chan needs more early game damages from playing him jungle because it's just absolute garbage. Look at this, dude. This actual, like the base damage on our two, 75. Our three actually does decent damage, but it's such a long ability that it doesn't really mean a whole lot. Our one doesn't hit hard until late game. It kind of has like the Ares three treatment, except without the bonus wave clear, where like it scales up really hard because the dot damage goes up along with the damage. So he just, he does a whole lot of nothing early, man. Even our ult doesn't do damage early game, which doesn't make sense to me. I've brought this up in the past. I really hate when they make abilities scale like the same every level. Like, uh, and Jingle's basically that, where like, it starts at a small amount and then scales almost the exact same amount every level, right? It starts at 25 and goes up 20 every level. 
That's so dumb because it means late game, it's gonna be nuts. In early game, it's gonna be complete garbage. And it's one thing when you're doing that on like a mage that's meant to be late game, maybe then it makes a little sense, right? But when you're doing it on a guardian, that's like, that's a pretty big deal, man. Especially someone who revolves pretty heavily around their ultimate, like I would say this guy does. Oh, I tried to help my boy, man. Is that ours? That's ours. I tried to help him. I also, I thought we scooped Thor. I guess he beads Don out of that. Yeah, we're going to try and go for, oh, that's unfortunate. I was going to go for a hot block, man. A Wheelix get him. A Wheelix couldn't get him. Let's do Horus is level three? What? What is going on? Let me jump. Actually worked that time. Nice. Yeah, no, we're kind of falling behind right now, and I don't really know what to do about it, because it's basically just because their team's running at ours, so it's hard to farm, right? Like, they just, they ran at me just now a little while ago, so we had to back, and then the moment we get back, they start running at my mid laner. I don't really know if we can do anything about that, dude. Oh, I totally forgot. Our Horus literally is better than theirs. Uh, we have, <laughs> we have TV on Horus. TV's a really good player. TV's, I don't think he really plays ranked at all right now, but he's one of the best casual players that I can like possibly queue with. He's a really good, like, I mean, he's a good, he would be a good ranked player, but like, he's a really good player. Easily one of the best casual players. I might be able to do a little something mid before we head back. Yorm Rush Dynasty Plate Helm, huh? That's interesting. Uh, Gab getting a little greedy, might be able to do a little something if Horus can get, okay, he just, all right. <laughs> All right, he just he just took a whole lot of damage. I don't even know how it's Geb and Horus. It'd be one thing if it's like the other way around, right? If it's like uh, like Horus mid or like Horus jungle and then like a Geb support. I don't know how they did that much, man. That's just dumb. I guess Geb's chunking. I don't know. Okay, that's a Thor ult. What is happening? I actually should have ulted Thor right there. He would have died 100%. Yeah, no, we definitely should have ulted him because I got his beads off of that dive, so we could have just killed him there by throwing him into tower and they couldn't have done much about it. I guess actually, if, if their Geb was nutty, which he probably is because it's honestly not that hard, uh, he could have cleansed him out of my ult, which would suck. That's going to be super obnoxious, man. Geb's going to be able to cleanse people out of our ults. It's normally not like a big deal that you have to worry about with like ults. Uh, he's dead. <laughs> do we do purple? Do we save? Yeah, no, he's dead. We're going to do purple. Um, yeah, no, normally, like, with other things, that's kind of a big deal, but normally you don't have to worry about it with ultimates. But yeah, like, Jing channel, Veneral, any sort of, like, channel CC like that, where you're, like, holding on to someone, Geb gets super obnoxious, because not only is his three a shield, um, but it's also a cleanse, so they can just, you know, he can basically yoink them on out of it, which totally sucks. Kind of like, kind of like a mini Kepri, right? Where, like, Kepri, you're trying to save people from dying, Geb, you're trying to save people from broken CCs, like, Jing channel, and that's gonna be really obnoxious when you're stacking beads on top of it. So, like, we've got... Oh, this guy went blink, by the way. We need to ult him a whole lot. Um, I totally did not think that would be a thing he did. I should have been paying attention. But, but yeah, it's going to be really, really annoying. Yeah, no, I wish we could do, like, anything in solo lane. Picks it so that we can focus solo. Doesn't happen at all because it's Yorm. All right, let's see if we can actually get his roll down, and then we'll just kill. Hi. You can ult this? No? Okay, well, I think he dies. And more knockups. <laughs> nice Thor Hammer. <laughs> I love that so much, dude. As much as I, I mean, I, I don't need to complain again. I, as much as I brought up my complaints about the slow on, on Oler and Ult, I love watching the slow on Oler and Ult, dude. It's so hilarious. I hate experiencing it. I hate experiencing it, but I love watching it, man. <laughs> I really wish, like, I don't know. I don't know how they could incorporate it, especially with their spaghetti code. But I would love to see some custom games in Smite where you can get some, like, slow-mo action shots and stuff like that. Get some custom games where you can do some super cool stuff like that. Like, if you hit a button to slow-mo and stuff like that. Again, it's high-res spaghetti code. No way it ever happens unless it's a Smite 2. But, uh, but yeah, it'd be cool. It'd be cool, man. All right, they got a word here. They probably saw us with it. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, that's, that's three people, so I'm getting a little spooked. Yeah, no, we didn't have Oler in there, so I'm trying, like, not to force it, you know? Oh, God. Yeah, forgot. Lightning on New Thor kind of busted. Did a lot of damage. Cupid's doing work right now, though, man. Candy? All right, hold up. We doing stuff? We doing stuff? Yeah, we're doing stuff. Nice. Oh, God. 
Can you? Yeah, can you not? Thanks. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it not killing me. What a nice guy. Yeah, we're actually starting to do work to him. I don't know what happened. I feel like the game started so bad, and I don't even know why, because they have a Geb mid. Um, and then, like, Geb mid stopped Gebbing? I don't know. Wait, what? Is he going gem? Hang on. I mean, it's, it's gem or ethereal, right? I don't know what the hell this man's building. I think either way, it's not good. <laughs> I think I think either way, it's pretty bad. I have no clue which one he's going, but I don't know why he's going it. Yeah, as far as our build's concerned, we're going to be rushing into a spear, and then we're going to be going Mirrodin. Uh, spear is pretty nuts on Jin because he's got a whole lot of damaging abilities, and as you actually get later in the game, he's got a whole lot of damage as well, right? Like, like right now, they're not doing a whole lot. As you get later, they actually do a decent amount, and Spear procs really, really easily on Jing, so it makes a whole lot of sense to uh, to go him, right? Like, we're getting really easy procs on our one, uh, and even if we don't lead with our one, we've got pretty easy damage to it. Like, we got two procs on our two, couple procs on our three, obviously a lot of hits on our ult. It's really easy to proc Spear. Yeah, the range on that's so nuts, man. I'm pretty sure they sentried this, right? So we're not going to ward it. We're just going to run through it and just show them exactly where we are. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Just present myself, you know? On a silver platter. Ah, uh, good, good. Yeah, I still want to kill Geb, but now that tier two, or, uh, tier 1's down, I think it's going to be a little hard to kill Geb, which is going to suck. One thing to note for Xing Jungle, by the way, if you want to try it yourself, uh, cooldown, super long. 14, 18, 15, not a whole lot of fun. So uh, when you're clearing camp, something to keep in mind, if you want to be ganking immediately after a camp, a lot of the time you want to save um, as, as much as you can cooldowns wise, which can make it a little tricky considering your clear is not great to begin with. This man is just not, he doesn't know what farm is. Hi. Go, go meet our, our Oleran. Why don't I do anything? I'm nutty. Go kill him. Go, are you? Ulrin, kill! Press kill! Oh my... Kill him! Press one, dude! Are you kidding? I hate you so much! I hate you so, so much! You're a terrible person! <laughs> just... Just hit the button, dude! God damn! I don't get it, man. Oh, we didn't get it, Rip. No, it's not actually that big of a deal. He didn't kill him. Ah! Oh, I messed up. Okay. That was actually, that was a really unlucky timing. I was thinking if we spammed our three, uh, that we should be able to juke his hammer or his wall. And he happened to actually land the sun right when we landed. Yeah, a little, little tip for Jing Chan is his jumps are super quick. So you got a little bit of like a Discordia immunity frame type thing. Not quite the same. Um, but it's pretty easy to do immune stuff if you jump at the right time. Obviously, like there it didn't work. But in general, it works really, really well. Now, if you want to be smarter and less greedy, you can obviously run away. But uh, if you're me, then you're not going to do that, right? We don't really run away too much. This Thor is insanely fed, by the way. I don't know if I'm... Am I just behind? I guess I'm just behind. Yeah? Yeah, no, we are. We are. I haven't been farming too well lately. I don't know. I feel like I've... I guess, I guess we haven't really farmed over the last few minutes, huh? Because I just kind of ran at their Geb. <laughs> I really just started running at Geb, man. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know if we can avenge a Wheelix at all. Uh, actually, we can probably get to Thor in time. He's out of mana. I really want to kill the... Uh, which one are we going on, man? Thor? I like it. Dead? Dead. Yeah, let's, let's catch up on farm a little bit. Let's catch up on farm a little bit. By the way, I know I know. there's hits right there. Somebody's like, you can kill Yorm. You can kill Yorm right now. Yeah, no, it's his one. It's his one. There's no Yorm there. 100%. No man's that greedy. Actually, there's definitely some people that are that greedy, but, like, there's no way this guy's that greedy, right? Yeah, he doesn't even have his blue buff, man. He ran for his life. Or not a happy camper right now, man. Just Owen Wilson all over this game. All right, let's see if we can do something to the boy in mid. Hi. Give him a suck. Give him, give him, give him. Get, 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 get him. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's, oh God. His two is down. We got Discordial. Absolutely calculated. Um, yeah, no CDs. Okay. Yeah, no problem. 
you know, <laughs> like again, again, TV's a really good player. So the fact that he just like did absolutely nothing, I'm, I'm assuming he just used his abilities on clear and I, uh, <laughs> and I just didn't realize it. That sucks, man. I, I like, I didn't see him. I don't know if I just wasn't paying attention or if I couldn't see it, but like, I didn't see his abilities go down on wave. So I figured he was able to just kill him there. It's not a big deal, man. We used old, I guess we blinked too, didn't we? I think we did, right? Uh, but it's not too big of a deal. We have our ultimate coming up, coming back up pretty soon. Yeah, by the way, working on Mirden right now. Mirden's pretty nuts on Jing in the right circumstances. I don't know how often those circumstances actually are. But theoretically, it's really insane. Because you're getting an extra set of cooldowns off of your ultimate. Normally, when you're when you're playing Jing, a lot of time you're looking for Blink Ult. So he's actually a Guardian that makes sense to go Mirden on, right? Because if we're building, at least when we're building damage, right? If you're not building damage, probably not. Um, but when we are building damage, a lot of time we're Blink Ulting to try and either get beads or just straight up get a pick, right? Um, and so when we do that, we can either double three, which means four jumps, or we can double two for insane CC, or we can, you know, double one for extra damage. But a lot of time we want to do the, uh, the CC or the extra mobility. Get body. Come here. Take damage. Look at that. I just chucked his own Horus at him. BM as hell. Yeah, we're bopping this man. Let me ask him a question. No, I'm not done. We don't give up that. I just, I just whiffed so hard. Shouldn't matter. All right. Yeah, no, <laughs> I whiffed, I whiffed so insanely hard on that. What, Geb? There's, there's people coming. What am I doing? There's people coming, dude. What am I doing? We're at Phoenix. Of course they're rotating on my face. I don't know what I was thinking, man. It's whatever. It's not that big of a deal, but that, that was kind of stupid. Oof. Yeah, I feel so... What is... Yeah. Ugh. This Wheelix is gonna do zero damage, man. I don't, I don't know about this. It's kind of... Kind of creeping me out, man. Like, the idea of zero damage Wheelix is just so gross and not in the good way. I don't know, man. Like, no warrior... Ta I guess Blackthorn's kind of damage, but still. Like, she just... Ugh. Ugh. Like, Wheelix is just so bad if you're not doing damage, right? Am I, am I wrong? I feel like it's just not good to go that tank. I don't know. Maybe I'm just wrong, man. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. By the way, I think Geb finally has beads. Yeah, Geb finally has beads. That's something to watch out for for us. Ooh, Yorm going for the ultimate. Lots of boys going for the ultimate. Can we give him a scoop? How did he get out of that? Did he get Geb shielded? He had to have gotten Geb shielded, right? By the way, now that we have Mirrodin, I need to stop wanting right away. Because, like, right there when we use our Mutant proc, we just got a bad one, which really, really sucks. Ooh, TV and the Oleron going at it. Actually, might, uh, we probably can't do much. I mean, if he wants to go in, we can go in. I don't think good things happen. I, I don't think good things happen. Yeah, no, we're, <laughs> we're not doing much, man. Yeah, no, we need, like, we need some, some more source of damage here. Because right now, like, it's just me and Horus and a Wheelix. And I'm kind of doing damage because we're building it. But, like, it's, you know, we're still working on it, right? We still need to get a little later in the build for it to stand out a whole lot. So we need our Oleron around, man. Or the Cupid to rotate. Oh, a fat knockup. Let's go. There we go, baby. Yeah, no, we got a whole lot of no mana, so we're going to head back real quick. It's kind of a weird game. Like, I don't know if I should build different than normal. Eh. Eh. I think we will, man. We're going to rush Orangdas. I feel like we really do need damage so bad, because what's happening is, like, obviously Cupid is ADC, and ADC is going to have a lot of, like, a lot of trouble rotating early on in the game, and so we probably can't always rely on him in fights. And then Olorin is crazy behind right now. So I don't think we're going to be fighting too often with him either because he's either dying or he just doesn't want to fight, right? So I don't know, man. It's making it a little tricky. I think we're just going to rush the Rangdas. Normally, I go Rangdas anyways when we're, when we're playing Jing. So uh, I feel like we'll get it a little early and try and boost our damage up as much as we can. We already, we already are working on a lot of damage, so it kind of makes sense. By the way, they might be on gold. Maybe? Maybe? Eh, eh, I don't think so. 
Yeah, I'll just go grab speed, I guess. Yeah, it's funny. We're actually not too terribly far behind. I feel like I feel like at this point we're just as behind as we're going to be from like our team kind of playing from behind or it's just it's tough to play uh, as much like the way we want to, you know, where it's like I kind of have to just do things based on, you know, people dying and making sure we rotate, which makes it harder to farm. So I think we're actually doing all right on farm now, at least. All right, we got a Cupid in mid that. OK, oh, he missed. <laughs> he missed super hard, so we're just gonna... There we go. We got a beads. We got a geb shield. Yeah, that's obnoxious as hell, man. That is so annoying. I'm coming, man. Get bopped. This poor Cupid just wants to live, and they're just not having it. That sucks. I don't think she meant to ult the Horus. What the... You guys are crazy, man. Crazy greedy. Yeah, sit down. Sit down. I think that's going to be FG for us. Nope, don't let him do it. Don't let him do it. Oh, they let him do it. Yeah, no, I think I think we can just do FG for sure. Discordia is going to be a little bit of a problem, but like Horus can't really stick around unless Discordia is already near him and so he can like heal up in time. So yeah, let's just, let's just go for big, man. Hope we can do it. Please, yeah, please don't body block me into it. That would be lovely. Uh, I don't see her. Yeah, nice, man, nice. How much is ranged this, dude? I want to finish it right now. I want to finish it so bad. We might sell assassins. 2,000, uh, hold up. Let's go clear left lane. There's a fat wave in left. Let's see if we can get some money. Look at this juicy wave. We'll split it, though. Almost there, man. Yeah, and I'll see. I think another wave is coming. Yeah, yeah, another wave's coming. We're going to clear this real quick, and then we're going to head back and finish ranked as all in one go, and we're going to start doing some nasty damage. We're also going to get absolutely obliterated if we get focused, so that's something to watch out for. But I don't think we're really going to have too much trouble with it. We have our beads up and stuff. Uh, we have Horus is pretty much looking out for us pretty hard right now, so I think it's pretty easy to stay alive for the most part. And we also finally get to get some Awelix ults, right? Awelix is finally getting out of the solo lane, and therefore she can actually, like, ult off of our ult in our knockup, like she did in that last fight, which is way better than what we've been doing of uh, of having <laughs> no Awelix ults. Yeah, look at that, man. Rip speed buff. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. I came out of base, you know? Like, it's going to take a little while. Boys need to chill. All right, Yorm's ulting, and we're going to see if we can clean up, because I'm assuming they're going to get really aggressive off the Yorm ult, or they just won't at all, and they don't even care. All right, archers, leave me alone. I want to kill people. Here, bait ward? Bait ward? I want to stack them on top of each other, you know? It didn't quite work, but it almost worked, and I was going to be so satisfied. I keep forgetting to use the two instead of the one, man. I'm so used to <laughs> just slap him with an auto. Uh, I'm so used to using the one right after the ult. It's just kind of like normally the order that makes sense, but I keep forgetting to use Mirrodin as well. Oh no. Oh no. All right, I am eating so much damage from this Phoenix, man. Ranged as plus Phoenix, not a good time. Ah! Uh, I, I think we're okay. <laughs> not for long. Not for, not for too long. The world's probably about to come in. Jump away. Is he even ulting? I don't think he ulted. We're actually healing a ton, man. Yeah, by the way, Xing Chan passive, uh, if you guys aren't familiar with it, basically you build up HP 5 based on how often you're hitting people. I want to say the last, what, like 18 seconds? Yeah, the stacks last 18 seconds. So it's kind of similar to Arthur passive, except you're just getting stacks that actually give you HP 5 instead of like increasing your energy gain and stuff. And you get a whole lot more of them. So it's really good for the solo lane, not so good in the jungle. Um, theoretically, it can be good to try and, like, gank really frequently, fight really frequently to build up that HP 5. Um, but more than anything, it's just going to start standing out mid-game and late-game, where it gets pretty nuts. That's a big reason we healed so much, I'm assuming, is that we had, uh, had our passive up, along with Fire Giant. I really want to kill people, man. We did so much damage with that ult last fight. Yorm, what are you doing? Do you just, do you want to ult out of this fight? Is that, like, I don't, I don't understand what he's thinking there, man. Well, like the cinematic Yormult. I guess I could have actually gotten to the horse ult in time. I was thinking we wouldn't be able to get there. Yeah, we're just gonna run in and ult people. Oh, or they can, or they can ult away. <laughs> oh my! Look at the damn it! Do you really get out of that? Do you really? 
You really just get out of that? Yeah, we chunk. Hi. Oh, look at that. Look at that Mirrodin proc. Look at the... Oh, my. <laughs> That's actually so stupid, man. Two, one, two. Not a whole lot you can do about that, dude, is Discordia. Really not much. Hey, see you later. Thor wanted to kill me? Yeah, no, you're not killing me today, man. So that is a little look, little baby peek at Jing Chan Jungle. Really not a baby peek, man. That's actually about all there is to it. We didn't quite get super late in the game, but as far as our build's concerned, we just keep building damage like that, and we really got the core items online anyways, so it actually doesn't change a whole lot. But uh, yeah, basically you're capable of doing really high CC, really high damage, pretty good mobility. Big downside is it's still done over time and you have an absolutely garbage early game, which makes it really hard to do a whole lot. We actually did top damage, uh, even though our early game, oops, hit my mic. Hopefully, hopefully your ears will forgive me. Um, even though our early game was so bad, we were still able to do enough damage that we could be top once we got mid and late because we did so much there, right? So uh, it's actually kind of an interesting pick, man. I honestly, I don't know if it's really great in the jungle. Maybe it makes more sense somewhere else. I think it's best jungle. I don't think you can mid him, right? And if you solo, you basically need defense to survive solo. So I think that's the only place that it works. But Jing's actually one of the few guardians that's really cool where you build him a lot of damage and it actually works. Because uh, all the time it feels really forced. And with Jing, it actually makes sense. Like Jing's one of the only ones where it actually does make a huge difference in how much damage he does. But that's enough of me rambling. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down.